Hey everyone, it's Allie and welcome back to my channel. I'm back again serving very Dora the Explorer vibes. Very cutesy. I was really bored today and I was feeling good. I was having a really good day and decided to try to play around with my look and my aesthetic, which is what I do when I tend to get bored. And I was getting ready to film the video, so I was like, hey, let me just get ready, take my time today, put out a video that's been really highly requested since my last list video. A lot of people have been asking me on Instagram and in comments and stuff about the House of Pink Mahogany. And I wasn't expecting to get such a huge, like, you know, interest, such big interest in the house. And I do own quite a few fragrances um, from the brand. Granted, the fragrance library is pretty small, so it's not hard to collect a majority of the fragrances. I've been slowly buying here and there, um, but they're a brand that I've been super into for a while. I've talked about them here and there, but I tend to keep that brand to myself for some weird reason. Um, but yeah, I got a lot of interest and a lot of you guys were asking me about the brand. So that's what we're going to be getting into today. I'm going to be going over the three fragrances I own from Pink Mahogany, my thoughts on the fragrances. And if I think you guys should definitely go out and get them, which, spoiler, yes, all of the fragrances I own from this house have been 10 out of 10s. I love, I love, I love everything about these fragrances and just the, the brand in general and the perfumer behind them. Um, I think she is amazing. And before I get into the video, I'm going to talk a little bit about Pink Mahogany. Um, the company was established in 2005, so it was established quite a while ago. The owner and founder of Pink Mahogany is named Chavelia. She's an amazing woman. If you guys don't follow Pink Mahogany on Instagram, what are you doing? Get on Instagram, follow Pink Mahogany if you're on there, and just check out the brand. Like Everything about Chavelia and what she does is interesting to me and like she's such a cool person in general and she's just full of really interesting conversations and thoughts and like I really admire her as a human as an educator as someone who's very uplifting and I feel like she gives off a very like female empowerment vibe um so I just really vibe with her period I think her aesthetic her thought process and things, just everything about her is really, really cool and really, really interesting. And her fragrances tell me a story. And that's what I love. A big part of me collecting fragrances is the fact that I love the feeling a fragrance can give me. Granted, I love the smell of a fragrance too. Don't get me wrong. I love me a good smelling fragrance. But the main reason why I personally collect fragrances is because I love the feeling a fragrance can invoke in me. And with her fragrances, there's something about them that is very artistic and I feel the story and I feel the vibe and I feel what she's trying to tell with her fragrances and that's something that I really like. I love the feelings her fragrances give me. To me that's truly art is when a fragrance can put you in a mindset, make you feel a certain way or feel certain things. I think that's what makes a fragrance truly special and her fragrances do that for me and this house does that for me. She does that for me and that's why I really enjoy this house and I think it's probably one of the most underrated houses that I want more people to check out. Um, but like I said, it, the brand was established in 2005. I'm going like on a weird tangent here. Um, Chavelia is a self-taught niche perfumer. She's from Longview, Texas. So shout out to my Texans out there. I lived in Texas for a few years. Um, she has a background in music and education and that really shines through when you see her talk on her Instagram. She's very thoughtful. You can tell she's an educated woman and I feel like her brand, um, which she took inspiration from the feminine and masculine in things. Um, and created them together to create the name Pink Mahogany. So you have Pink, which is the feminine, and Mahogany, which is the masculine. She put them together, and I feel like her brand and her overall like feel is very that. It encompasses those two energies and creates something unique and original. And I really enjoy that about the brand. There's a lot of thought put into everything. And it, people that know me know how much I am super into thoughtfulness in everything. Um, I don't know. I'm just very into stories. I'm very into art. I'm very into talk. I'm very into a lot of weird stuff. Um, not to say that this brand is weird by any means. It's amazing, 1000%. Um, but I don't know. Like, it just, it's one of those brands that really resonates with me. And those of you that have gone out and tried the brand because of me have been raving about the brand, which makes me so happy that you guys are enjoying it just as much as me. 
and that just makes me happy you know sharing something that brings me joy and is bringing you guys joy too and i think that's the important part of this channel is just to bring you guys things that make you happy because they make me happy as well um i'm on such a tangent today well anyway let's finish up this section so we can get into the fragrances um, a big part of why she created the fragrances were because of her frustrations from the inability to wear certain fragrances because of adverse reactions she was having to materials in them. So like synthetics and parabens and things like that. Um, she was having those kinds of reactions. So she created a brand that was clean, um, very natural, high quality ingredients, which I really like. Like those are all things I look for in a brand and she's very much about that life and I appreciate it. All her fragrances are extremely high quality and what you're paying is what you're getting quality 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 they all smell amazing i honestly can't say enough good things about her if you guys don't believe me y'all can look into it yourself she's been featured in places like cosmopolitan pop sugar um the huffington post she's been in ebony magazine and essence magazine she's also been a speaker at the institute of art and olfaction which i think is really cool and just goes to show what an educated person she is but anyway, if you guys want to try out Pink Mahogany's fragrances, she was amazing to actually create a co coupon code for you guys. I can't even talk. I'm so excited about this part. Um, so if you guys want to go on her website and you want to buy a full-size bottle, you can get 20% off of any full-size purchase by using code ABPM20 at checkout. I will link it down below. Thank you to Chavelia for giving me this coupon code. I don't get any commission from it. This is strictly for you guys if you want to try out the brand. That to me is amazing. I honestly don't want anything other than for her to get the recognition that she deserves because she is an amazing perfumer and an amazing artist. And like I said, she's highly underrated. Check her out. Anyway, now to the actual fragrances because I've gone on so many like random tangents today. Um, but yeah. The first fragrance that we're going to get into is the first fragrance I ever bought from this brand. This one is called Tandem. As you guys can tell, I've used quite a bit of it. To make a dent in a bottle for me is really, really hard because of all the fragrances I own. This is one that I kept coming back to over and over and over again. And this one I remember finding through Eve Smells. If you haven't seen her channel on YouTube, she's amazing. I got this recommendation from her. She talked about it and she talked about it in such a way that I was immediately intrigued. And this isn't my typical style of fragrance, which is why it took me a minute to buy this one, even though it was my first purchase. But once I did, I saw the magic behind it and I knew I had to explore this house more. Now, Tandem is a unisex option. This one retails for $135, um, no, $137.25, if I'm not mistaken, on her website. This one has a mojito accord, so that lime and mint sort of mixture. It has a rice flower um, note in this as well, which I find very interesting. This riced flower note is super, super beautiful. I think that's what makes this stand apart, but you also have orange blossom and soft velvety woods as well. What I get from this, when I smell this, like, okay, so I'm not typically one who likes clean fragrances, like, it takes a special kind of fragrance that's clean smelling for me to really enjoy it. This is done to perfection. When I smell this, I picture myself wearing all white, clean clothing, super elevated feeling, walking outside, getting that salty breeze from the ocean because I'm really close to the beach and taking a sip of my mojito and getting that mint and lime the heat radiating from the sun in my clean clothes is giving me this clean vibe as I smell my mojito and take in the salty air. That's the sort of magical vibe that this fragrance gives me. It plays a really salty vibe on my skin. I'm not sure what's giving it that. Probably the lime and sort of like velvety wood mixture with that like mintiness that's coming through. But this is really, really unique. If you want to smell tropical, like you're on vacation, you want to smell very clean, inviting and intoxicating i'm not even kidding you are going to kill it with this fragrance people love this when i wear it and it's never been headache inducing for anybody it's a very clean formula it's really long lasting for a soft fragrance this is one of those soft fragrances that feels intimate but is actually pushing through the longevity on this i get like about seven hours or so maybe a little more if i overspray 
Um, but I love this sort of soft ambiance that it creates around me. It's a really soft, almost velvety feel that has a really clean feel, but it's interesting because of this mojito accord and this riced, um, this flowered rice feeling. It's creamy, it's clean, it's tropical smelling, a little salty. There's so much going on with this fragrance, even though it's a simplistic sort of formulation. There's complexity, there's depth. And this isn't your typical run-of-the-mill clean fragrance. This is an elevated clean fragrance. If you want to smell amazing and you want to kill it with a sillage and really, really own a room, tandem. There's a reason I've had this one and it's been used so much. I bust this out when I want to just feel really good. And like I said, I'm not one for clean fragrances, but this is elevated to another level in my opinion. Amazing, amazing formulation. I honestly have never run across anyone that didn't like this. And this is easily a fragrance that you can share with your partner. It doesn't matter. Man, woman, it really doesn't matter. This is perfectly unisex. It doesn't lean one way or another to me. I think some people might think it might lean a little feminine. Some might think it might lean a little masculine. This, in my opinion, is right in the middle. Easily wearable for anybody. And I mean, just look at this packaging. Like, I stink and love it. Everything about this brand is amazing. This one, though, check it out, you guys. If you want an elevated, clean fragrance that smells like a mojito and a summer beach vacation, like, tandem. Summer stunner, easily. I will be busting this out more in warmer weather because this performs in warm weather like a beast. Now, the next one that we're going to get into is called A Mother's Love. This is another amazing creation from the House of Pink Mahogany that kind of blew me away. The inspiration behind this fragrance, I believe Chavelia had said, was her mother. She wanted to create a fragrance that encompassed her mother and the feeling her mother gave her and, you know, the essence of her mother. And that was the thought and the story behind this fragrance. And I think she did such a beautiful job with this fragrance because there is something really maternal feeling about it. It's soft. It's inviting. But there's a almost like an authority to this fragrance as well because this one also has a mint note. But this is a really, really elevated, clean, very like motherly smelling fragrance that just smells really romantic, soft, and very inviting. And if that's the kind of vibe you want to go with, this fragrance is truly, truly, truly amazing. You have notes of rose, mint, peach, and musk. And what I get from this is the most beautiful sort of aquatic-y minty rose fragrance that like I didn't know I needed. I typically don't really stray towards like really girly, really pink smelling, very dainty rose scents. There have been a few here and there that have like sparked my interest and have been really, really good. This is one of the ones that has been really, really good and I've been really, really enjoying this one. And I think those of you that love rose fragrances, check this out. Honestly, and I hate to compare it to this brand, um, but Balenciaga's uh, Flora Botanica is what I expected this to smell like. I was hoping Flora Botanica was going to smell like this when I had first heard people talk about it. And I did go out and buy it um, before the huge controversy and the scandals and everything like that. I'm not supporting them right now. I have no interest in trying out any of Balenciaga scents, to be honest, but... Um, where is it going with this? Yeah, Flora Botanica had all this hype and it sounded so amazing and it was supposed to be like this minty rose fragrance. And the way this smells is what I pictured that to smell. And I was kind of disappointed the, with the fact that it was so basic and it felt like it was a good fragrance, but there wasn't a lot of feeling or thought put into it. This has the feeling and thought that I was hoping that fragrance was going to have and it encompasses the feeling and the vibe I was hoping that fragrance was going to have. And I'm so glad that this one has that because I'd rather buy this than Flora Botanica any day. My fans of Flora Botanica, do yourself a favor, trash that stuff, get you this one because this is an elevated version of what that fragrance was trying to be. But this has done so well. The mint adds a sort of sharpness to the rose. But there's this underlying like aquatic-y vibe that I'm really vibing with. 
This is soft. This is motherly. This is inviting. This is nurturing. There's just something really whimsical and romantic about the fragrance. And I think she did a beautiful job encompassing this sort of feel that she was going for, telling the story of like her mother. And I think it's just so beautiful. She's telling such a beautiful story with this fragrance. And I couldn't be happier to have this in my collection because I don't have any other fragrances quite like this one. The only other comparable thing would have been Flora Botanica, but that one wishes it was this one. That's how good this one is in my opinion. Definitely check this out. There's a slight fruitiness behind this that plays really beautifully. And I think that's where I'm getting this aquatic note. It's this really juicy peach that's really, really mouthwatering. And it plays beautifully with that rose. It really helps sweeten it and make it more prominent. But the mint is what really makes it stand out in this. And the musk really rounds it out after that sort of minty sharpness dies down. And you're left with something really beautiful, really whimsical, and just really, really romantic and nurturing and mothering. And when I want to feel good for myself or be reminded of my mother, I'm going for... My necklace literally just... whatever. I literally go for something like this. It's really, really good. Check it out, you guys. Now, the last one that I'm going to be talking about is probably the one that y'all bought the most. Y'all went crazy when I talked about it, and for good reason, because I really think that this fragrance is the best buy I had of last year, 2022. This was easily by far my best blind buy, my best buy, my best purchase, my best everything. And I raved about this fragrance on my Instagram. I talked about it. I made a post. And I included it in my last list video. And y'all that have gone out and bought this have seen the hype that I've been like screaming about for this fragrance. And y'all been thanking me and you're welcome. For those of you that got your sexy like Valentine's Day fragrance. Ooh, this one's a good one. This is their newest release. This one is called Sexuality. This one retails for $222. I also forgot to say A Mother's Love retails for $170, and that one is a very feminine smelling fragrance. Sexuality is a very unisex smelling fragrance. This one leans a little bit more feminine, in my opinion. It's not right in the middle, but a man could easily rock this, and if I smelt this on a man... I kid you not, I would probably be trying to go home with him. Like, that's embarrassing to say, but there's something very sexual and carnal about this fragrance. The carnal part is coming from that white floral accord. There's something really sexual about this. There's a strawberry note that I raved about in this fragrance that like, those of you that know me, you know I love strawberry, but I don't like that it's done really synthetic or really weird in a lot of fragrance. This is done to perfection in this one because it plays so beautifully with this champagne fig note. And like I said, there's strawberry, coconut, champagne fig, white floral accord in this. There is a roast tobacco, New Caledonian sandalwood, vanilla, warm woods, and salted chocolate. And you guys, this literally screams like sexy, sexy, sexy. This is just so stinking sexy to me. And to everyone that smelt this, everyone that has smelt this has told me how intoxicating this is. Everyone that has smelt it on me has literally said that this elevates my sex appeal to like a whole nother level. And something that's really interesting that I never noticed until like recently is that there are actual like little like crystals or something in here, which I thought was really, really cool. You might be able to see it. You might not. I don't know. But I thought that was really, really cool. And that just goes to show the thought and the intent that she puts into her fragrances. Like there's just so much thought and so much intent. And I feel like she really captured sexuality in a bottle. Like this has become my ultimate date night fragrance. Valentine's Day, like anytime I want to feel elevated in a really sexy way, this is it. This just screams sex appeal. It screams sexuality. This screams just love. There's something so lovely about this fragrance that's so inviting, so intoxicating, and just so damn sexy. Those of you that have tried it, no. You that know, no. And there's a reason I haven't talked about this one as often as I have. But you guys, check this one out. This is like going to blow your mind for those of you that check it out. And if you just want something sexy that's very seductive and going to seduce everyone around you, 
look no further you guys this is the one if you guys can get a sample check this one out something i really love about the brand is that the library the fragrance library is pretty small so it's easy to try everything out but you know she's always creating and i know she's going to create more amazing things and put more stuff out so i'm really excited for the future of this brand and i hope i brought you guys something amazing that you guys can enjoy with me as well because like i said this brand amazing and she's going places and you guys check her out and thank you again to Chavelia and for everything you do and for allowing me to give my viewers a chance to try out the fragrances. Use that coupon code ABPM20. It will be linked down below if you want to check out the brand. Save yourself 20% off a full-size bottle. Try out the brand. Literally see what it is that I'm hyping so hard about because I think this brand is going to be so worth it and you guys are absolutely going to love it, especially the quality and just everything about this brand is just chef's kiss. I can't say enough good things. Thank you again to Chavelia and thank you to you guys for tuning into today's video. I hope you guys found it informative and helpful if you guys were looking into trying this brand and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.